YouTube. Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast Talking Auburn Football. Go ahead and like this video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. On the plains of Auburn, the battle cry is War Eagle. Got a lot of great things going on for the Tigers. 5-0, and ranked number 7, going into Gainesville, Florida. In a rivalry that is uh, a little bit few and far in between now because of the alignments of the SEC. They play have, haven't played one another since 2011. Auburn currently riding a two-game winning streak in this particular football game. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle. Now, if you haven't noticed this Auburn defense, the nation will know about it after this coming weekend as Auburn takes on the number 10 team in the country, Florida, who has just found – Florida's found a way to win games. That's one thing that I am impressed with Florida is the fact that they found a way to win games. Has, haven't been overly impressive, you know, haven't, haven't looked pretty, but at 5-0 – uh, have a conference win under their be- their belt. Two conference wins, actually. They're actually 2-0 and in the SEC East. So definitely a lot to play for for the Florida Gators, although many media pundits will have you to believe that Florida and, you know, Florida and Auburn, that Auburn overmatches Florida. Now, when we talk about the Auburn defense, I think a young man who has the opportunity to have a really, not necessarily a breakout game, but somewhat of a coming out party is K.J. Britt. Very similar to the 2013 season where we knew, we absolutely knew that Nick Marshall was talented. We knew he had some potential. He showed flashes of that potential but came out huge in, similarly, a CBS game against Texas A&M. That's the game where we found out where the nation, everyone confirmed that Nick Marshall was a force to be reckoned with. As we talk about K.J. Britt, a former four-star recruit out of Oxford, Alabama, Auburn likes to kind of dig into the Oxford, Alabama market as they found a five-star recruit in Rock Thomas, who was, I mean, Rock Thomas was actually pretty good. The only thing is, uh, you know, Rock Thomas just couldn't, he had some ball control issues uh, to where it he just didn't crystallize as the type of running back that we thought he should. He showed flashes of greatness, wound up transferring to Jacksonville, stayed on to the NFL. But either way, as we talk about K.J. Britt, we start with the Oregon game. A couple of great plays for K.J. Britt that let me know that this kid is absolutely elite and that he gained a lot of experience playing behind Deshaun Davis, learning the culture of Auburn, learning the culture of the Auburn defense that Kevin Steele likes to run. And even in interviews this past offseason, Travis Williams, Kevin Steele said that the Mike linebacker is a guy who has to be a be a quarterback of the defense, which Deshaun Davis was. Turns out K.J. Britt has more than exceeded expectation in this regard. 14 solo tackles, 12 assists, 26 total tackles. He's the second leading tackler on this Auburn football team behind Jeremiah Denson, who is a tackling machine. But most notably, K.J. Britt has 4.5 tackles for loss, and at 5.5 tackles for loss and a sack. Well on his way statistically and from an impact standpoint to being a very, very high impact linebacker in the SEC. And it's absolutely important that KJ Britt continues this trend because if you think about inside linebackers for Auburn, you really haven't had those type of impact players for Auburn really since... I mean, maybe the Dontarius Thomas and Carlos Dansby tandem of the early 2000s. You look back even further of the top five linebackers all time for Auburn. Andre Bruce was mentioned, and he actually played defensive end at Auburn 
and wound up playing linebacker for the Atlanta Falcons for numerous years, finished his career up with the Raiders. But probably the most, uh, you know, dominant linebacker in the recent history for the Auburn Tigers, you got to talk about Takeo Spikes, who literally terrorized uh, defenses with his interior ability to tackle. He had range. He had a great ability. He had a nice career in the NFL, as was Carlos Dansby and Dontarius Thomas. And you talk about Joshua Bynes, who was actually pretty good, but pretty much after that, there just had haven't hasn't been a dominant interior linebacker that the nation kind of sort of had to take account for with the Auburn Tigers. You know, you got Chris Frost here and, you know, um, Deshaun Davis there. Now, Deshaun Davis, to his credit, was very productive as a middle linebacker. The only thing about Deshaun Davis was there was some athletic deficiencies that didn't allow him to make some of the elite plays. But K.J. Britt, ladies and gentlemen, after Saturday, assuming that he continues the trend that he has had thus far as a starter for the Tigers, this kid will probably be a household name and someone that you got to look at as an elite linebacker in the nation after this this coming weekend. So far, Auburn is doing an excellent job of run defense. They've basically made the teams that they have competed against so far. You got two top 25 teams in Oregon and Texas A&M hanging on in the rankings for dear life at number 25. Oregon actually in position to really make a run in the Pac-12 as they face what could have been a top 25 matchup against California, but California wound up losing. But a very good Oregon team with a very good running back in C.J. Verdell. Auburn held him to under 100 yards. Also, you look at Colin Hill from Mississippi State. Statistically, the best running back in the SEC coming into the Auburn-Mississippi State game held him to under 100 yards. This week, Auburn takes on Florida, who has LeMichael Pirine who, you know, most people thought that he should have a pretty good season. Not getting off to a particularly great start. Um, you know, really, really not as elite so far that we, as we thought he'd be. He's doing a great job, though, uh, catching passes out of the backfield, about 14 passes out of the backfield. But this is a huge opportunity for Auburn to have, for, for K.J. Britt to have a great game for so many reasons. Number one, Auburn has not had an elite interior linebacker in numerous years, have not had an elite linebacker taken into the draft in numerous years, had a chance at the recruitment of Reuben Foster. And we all know who, you know, how Reuben Foster turned out at Alabama. But Auburn just hasn't had that guy. Can K.J. Britt be the guy? So far, he's shown that he absolutely can. He's very physical at the point of attack. He has a lot of range from from sideline to sideline, kind of similar to Roquan Smith from Georgia recently, who had a stellar career at Georgia. And I think this is going to be a coming out party for K.J. Britt. On the national scene, he has showed up big time. Probably the most highlighted play of his career so far is him leading the charge in the fourth down stop against Oregon that set up the winning touchdown for the Tigers. Huge for the Tigers. So far, the Tigers are only averaging about giving up 3.1 yards per run. Also only giving up about 18 points per game. And that's even with some of the mop-up duty points that they've given up when things really didn't matter anyway. But I need you guys to be on the lookout. You've seen it. But this coming Saturday, it will be solidified. K.J. Britt as an elite interior line, the next elite interior linebacker for the Auburn Tigers. Has Deshaun Davis IQ, but has elite abilities to match the IQ with the athleticism. 
And that's one of the reasons why Auburn's defense has been so great outside of the fact that they're superiorly talented at the defensive line. I mean, you know, with the uh, upgrades there, you got Coinus Miller, Tyrone Truesdale really coming up huge, allowing Kevin Steele, Rodney Garner, and Travis Williams to diversify some things, put Derrick Brown in some different positions. Because, of course, with Derrick Brown just exclusively in the middle, defenses can kind of key on him, block down on him, and run away. But now you can't get away from Derrick Brown because he might line up at defensive end. I've even seen him in a stand-up position. Derrick Brown is all over the field, and that's why he's really having starting to have the elite season that we thought he could possibly have. So I need you guys to be on the lookout for this. The Auburn defense really, really keying in, getting better each and every week, arguably one of the more talented defenses that Auburn has had across the board, really excited to see how they will perform on the big stage, college game day, actually making a trip down to Gainesville, Florida, and really excited to see how K.J. Britt, four-star recruit out of Oxford, Alabama, will perform on the big stage against some very talented skill players for Florida. Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast talking Auburn football and K.J. Britt and the rest of the Auburn defense. Go ahead and like this video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. As always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.